I think at the moment the sport has come to a level um, where you need to be more professional. Um, I think that's what Hirscher has done the la last eight years. Uh, and if you want to contend for the wins and for and do more than one discipline, uh, then things have to be evolved around you. Quand on fait géant et slalom comme comme c'est le cas de Tinturo ou de ou de lui, à dire cher, on est obligé un petit peu d'être comme ça. C'est plus facile quand on a qu'une discipline d'être avec l'équipe, mais je pense que quand on veut faire les deux. C'est difficile. Les gens, ils sont très peu à faire les deux à haut niveau. I think we have quite a good setup now. Three coaches, two ski service, and one physio. My dad, who's the who's in charge, um, <clears throat> and but he's always been kind of in charge. The advantage is you know which button to push if he, if you need to push on buttons, then you know him since he was born, and so that part is a little bit easier to be a father. But sometimes, although when things are a little bit rough and maybe it doesn't go that well, then it could be hard harder to be a father. When you're also a coach and just a coach, but uh, that's just how it is. Aussi, ça m'a impressionné les premières fois. Il est toujours super, euh, super attentif à se préparer comme sur une Coupe du Monde. Il peut même s'encourager sur un entraînement. Je pense qu'il a ce rituel qu'il fait avant chaque run. Si c'est un training ou une race, c'est exactement le même. Je dis les mêmes choses dans le début d'un entraînement que ce que je fais dans la race. For me, the, for me, the important thing is to ski right. It's to ski technically good, um, and that's what I tell myself. Mostly, it's the basic ski technique. I'll be over the outside ski, clean turns, things like that. Le fait de s'entraîner tout seul, ça permet d'avoir des pistes euh, meilleures. Au lieu d'avoir cinq coureurs qui passent sur la piste, on est seul, donc on peut entretenir la piste beaucoup mieux et il peut faire beaucoup, beaucoup plus de tests. C'est ce qui, ce qui actuellement nous, nous permet de développer beaucoup de ski. I think it's really important. Uh, you can ski really good and have the wrong setup and be number five, but if you ski 95% and you have perfect setup, then maybe you're gonna win. Yule has been with me my entire World Cup career. I hope he will be until the end, um, but it's maybe eight more seasons or something like this. Uh, Tomorrow we have to see how many we do. Tomorrow we do like three, four maybe. That's true. I don't, I don't really care. People can ask as many questions as they want about the, about the overall or whatever. Uh, at the moment I'm focusing on on the training every day on the next race. Quand Hirscher a arrêté, on n'en a même pas parlé. Euh, non, non, non. Ce n'est pas un objectif. Son objectif, c'est gagner des courses. Le globe, il viendra que s'il gagne des courses. Donc, euh, pour l'instant, euh, on est loin de gagner toutes les courses. Donc, euh... <rire> non, non, c'est pas. On en parlera peut-être fin janvier parce qu'il parce que y aura beaucoup de slalom qui, qui seront passés. You talk about it, but you try not to do that much. I think. Uh, last year or the year before, maybe it was too much talk about it, and then maybe you start to reserve a little bit in each race because you think of the overall, and now it's more to 
take one race at a time and then you you accumulate the points after uh, the season is done and then you see. It's part of the job. C'est un de mes préférés, même s'il n'est pas italien. Vous avez raté l'école. Raté l'école pour voir. Pour regarder le champion. Normally, I'm pretty, pretty happy, uh, and I can joke and everything. Um, but I also have a temper, for sure. Uh, I can become angry. Uh, Il a un caractère euh, très, euh, comment dire, un caractère assez dur euh, avec lui-même surtout. When it's time to be serious, then I'm really serious. Uh, when you don't have to be serious, then I'm happy, go lucky, smiling, making jokes, stuff like this. Uh... C'est un gros travailleur qui cherche, qui cherche toujours la performance. Seule, seule la première place l'intéresse, le reste. I don't think if it's your, if it's I'm winning or if I'm second. I don't think that's the reason because sometimes I'm super happy when I'm second or third, and sometimes I am quite angry when I'm second or third. Uh, it all depends on the skiing. Um, if I do the two best runs of my life and I am second and uh, Noel beats me in the slalom, I, I can't do anything more. En fait, ses réactions à l'arrivée, c'est pas c'est pas tellement qu'il soit perdant, c'est c'est qu'il s'en veut à lui-même. Donc il l'exprime très très mal. Je sais qu'il est très mal perçu dans les Arabies, mais euh, il s'en veut à lui-même et il n'arrive pas à gérer ça. Donc euh, voilà, ça, ça ressort euh, devant les caméras. C'est un petit peu désolant pour son image, mais euh, il n'est pas comme ça dans la vie. I, I hate to lose. Uh, it was worse when I was younger, actually. I, I still hate to lose, but I don't show it as much now uh, as what I did before. I have a, I'm a older, I'm a little bit more experienced. Uh, and also, like I said, if I do a good run, I, I can't really change what other people are doing. Uh, but the motivation is for sure winning. Um, like Marcel has eight overall globes, uh, Olmot has 20 world champ and Olympic medals, Stenmark has 86 World Cup wins. Okay, I have 19 wins and some might then be like, okay, maybe you get a little, you're not that hungry anymore for wins. But there's so much more to achieve. You can, you can always win more, you can always ski better, you can always perform better. Uh, because perfect doesn't exist, nothing is perfect. Um, and then the possibility to win is for sure a motivation. Had it been less aggressive today? I think it would have been blank ice. So I think you always uh, agree, the three of you, when you talk in front of the video. <coughs> no, <laughs> not always, but uh, we often agree. Mostly, we just yeah. say it in different ways. Yeah. So, but it's good to not always agree either. Because if you always agree, then uh, <laughs> that's not good either. I know a few words in French, but it's bad words. Mostly, so it's the easiest oh. words to learn. No, I know like uh, ça va, ça va bien, toi, pas mal. Uh, mange de soup et filouli. <laughs>